This is video from a NASA space probe back in 2012. It shows a massive solar flare, something called a coronal mass ejection, that hurled trillions of tons of highly charged solar plasma into space. How fast? Nearly 7 million miles an hour. This was its relation to Earth. Our planet would have taken a direct hit had we been 9 or 10 days farther along in our orbit around the Sun. Fortunately, these don't happen very often, but UNLV physics professor Michael Pravica says a direct hit to Earth would quickly get dicey. The moving charged accelerated particles from uh, the sun coming into the uh, ionosphere, coming into the magnetosphere of the Earth, essentially will create a lot of unpredictable events. Unpredictable like a beautiful aurora that might be seen as far south as the Caribbean, but perhaps devastating to most electronics. So anything that runs on solid state electronics, which is just about everything, ATM machines, um, anything that, that would be run on the solid state electronics, computers would be uh, kind of fried literally fried. And because a similar electromagnetic pulse can be caused by a nuclear detonation in the atmosphere over the U.S. by a rogue nation, EMPs are firmly on the federal government's radar because of tensions with countries like North Korea and Iran. President Trump signed this executive order in March of 2019, calling on the U.S. Departments of Defense, Homeland Security, and Energy to make the U.S. more resilient to an EMP, a threat with the potential to knock out electricity over wide regions of the nation for extended periods of time. Our neighbors in Wyoming have begun that work on a state level. Planning for a long-term power outage, um, it could be due to a, a solar flare or coronal mass ejection, as well as some sort of um, adverse serial type event um, is something that we, we are talking about. It's a low probability, but a very high risk event. Shazad Latif, Vice President of Transmission with NV Energy, says there would likely be power outages across the electrical grid caused by an EMP, but NV Energy and its partners in the western U.S. are working hard to shield equipment to minimize damage and the length of the outage. Every equipment is being assessed on what the impact can be, and then we determine how we can protect our assets. Nevada is in very good shape, but it's the entire grid, the interconnected grid that matters. Latif says Nevadans should also think about preparation, what you'd need to do during a prolonged power outage until repairs are made and your high-tech life returns to normal. Every technology that you use, you have to be prepared on your contingency plan that if that technology does not exist, how would you communicate? I received a statement from the state. They say the Nevada Department of Public Safety, Division of Emergency Management, and the Office of Homeland Security continuously work with federal, local, and tribal partners regarding potential threats, and they regularly hold training for emergency preparedness and response. Back to you. 